Drivers are worried about their safety tonight after General Motors adds nearly one million call cars rather to its ignition switch recall. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stephanie Parkinson. Thanks for joining us. GM's recall list now totaling more than 2.5 million cars for a possible faulty ignition switch, a recall that started back in February. NBC 25's Josh Marshall is talking with car owners now affected by the recall. He joins us in studio with more on our top story tonight. Josh. Stephanie, General Motors is making their stance clear. Friday, GM Chief Executive Mary Barra said the company isn't taking any chances with safety. Drivers of newly recalled vehicles say they're taking a chance with their life every time they're in the driver's seat. People's lives are in danger and they've actually been killed in these vehicles. Todd Jones drives a Chevy HHR. His car and more than 2.5 million others are being recalled for a possible ignition switch problem that could cause the car to shut off without warning, disabling safety features like airbags. Hey, I got a notice in the mail. Uh, about three months after I'd seen it on TV. GM's addition of more than 800,000 cars is concerning Jones because the company has already told him there will be a wait. That they were short on parts and it would be a while before they could get to it. In an online statement, GM Chief Executive Mary Barra addresses Jones's concern. We have worked with our supplier very closely to make sure that we can get parts as soon as possible. And these are parts that have gone through our complete validation process. Barra says GM should have parts for all vehicles recalled no later than October. Meanwhile, Jones says his family will continue to use their recalled HHR. I have no choice. Can't afford to go out and get another vehicle. GM says it's not aware of any driving deaths connected to the ignition defect in the 2008 to 2011 models now recalled. However, a dozen deaths are being blamed on older models.